Greetings and peace. My name is Ram Hotep, broadcasting on behalf of 13signsastrology.com. I'm doing this video um, based on an inquiry I got. Uh, someone wanted me to do a video, and they asked a question. They asked me, why does the elite uh, intermingle and intermix and interbreed with each other? Why does the elite marry within a certain bloodline? It's a good question. Um, the elites got this practice from marrying within a certain bloodline from the ancients. The ancients. The ancients got this practice from the ancient astronauts, or where some people were called the Anunnaki, or those beings that came from the heavens to the earth. These beings would marry their sisters and their brothers. You read about stories of Anu marrying his sister. You read about stories of Inki and Enlil intermarrying with their uh, sisters and counterparts. You read about the Egyptians marrying into uh, in, in with their brothers and sisters and things of that nature. This came from um, a practice that was being done on Sirius, Sirius at the time. It was being practiced in a Sirius star constellation. And uh, this particular practice carried on into the planet Earth because those beings of the Sirius star constellation were responsible for creating the first humans here on this planet in what you would call modern day Africa. And they got a lot of the ancestral practices that took place there as far as intermixing, interbreeding came from the ETs that taught them from Sirius because they believe in interbreeding and intermixing. The reason for this is because they were real big on bloodline and the purity of bloodline. Because the purity of bloodline was a guaranteed uh, gateway or connection that the gods would have between man and God. Because they could communicate with those people that had a pure bloodline and send information to them because their genes were pure. In the Bible, when it talks about Noah and different prophets and their genes being perfect in their generations, it's talking about the bloodline. It talks about Noah being perfect in his generations. When it talks about Noah being perfect in his generations, it's talking about his bloodline. And this is exactly the ancient the ancient doctrine and practice that the uh, elites are practicing now. They learned this from the ancients and they learned this from the group of ETs that they're dealing with to intermarry and mix in their bloodlines amongst the family to keep the blood pure because they don't want junk blood in their genetic gene pool. The only one blood that's going to keep perpetuating the agenda that they're on, you see, and they know the science of mating. It's called the science of mating. And you can marry within the bloodline based on marrying within the father's side of the lineage. So if you had a sister on your father's side in ancient culture, you could marry her. Now, on the mother's side, they didn't do it because more diseases could be passed on. This is where retardation came from. And where retardation came from marrying, intermarrying on the mother's side. This is how the ancients taught it. Now, I don't know what how people are doing it today. This is how the ancients did it. So they didn't marry. The ancients didn't marry on the mother's side. They, didn't, they wouldn't marry a sister from the mother's side. They would only marry a sister from the father's side and vice versa. So a sister would marry a brother from her mother's side. She would marry a brother from the father's side. Now, this was done as straight scientists. The ancients were scientists. You guys cannot get spooked out and get to being on this, oh, that's nasty, and why would they do that, and all of this, and all of that. When they were scientists, they had a reason because they wanted to keep an open connection and a gateway so that they could communicate with the gods, so that they would know what was going on. And the person with the purest genetics and the purest gateway and the purest path of communication was basically labeled the shaman or the messiah or the messiah of that particular tribe. So this is how it was done. It was all based on keeping the genetics pure so that they could perpetuate their agenda. And so that they could reincarnate back through that same line as well. Because reincarnation is based on the blood. And you can go up or down based on reincarnation. I mean, you can reincarnate in a better body or in a better bloodline. Or you can go down based on how you treat your vehicle now. This is where you get karma from. So the elites, they want, they're trying to take their bloodline up. This is what they say when they talk about the, the elites making it to the hereafter or making it to the new world because they want to make it into the new world. So they're trying to keep their bloodline going so that they can make a way for themselves in the new world. You see, they don't just they don't get caught up on this body, man. This is why they can sacrifice their whole life to work for their father's business or something, because they're going to work for their father's banking business and become a banker or an economic hitman. Actually, and they, they become economic hitmen working for their father's businesses and sacrificing things they may have wanted to do for an agenda based on taking control and ruling for the future. You see, they stay 20 years ahead. 
They stay 20 years ahead. And this all goes into the whole bloodline and mixing in, the whole mixing in thing, because they want to constantly stay ahead of you. So they're thinking about what they're going to do to stop you in the future already, you see, because they deal in reincarnation. And they're occultists. So when you get into reincarnation and future lives and stuff like that from a occult perspective, you can learn how to basically jump through time to stay in rulership. You see, and this was all based on having a pure genetics. And this is why they intermarry and intermix. They don't want no outsider's bloodline within their particular bloodline based on the group of beings that they work with. Bloodlines and your bloodline denotes your connection to different ET groups. The bloodline that you have denotes can denote a connection to certain ET groups based on what tribe you were affiliated with, like certain tribes communicated with certain groups. All of this can go back to your bloodline. So this is another reason why they mix in and intermix. They learned this from the gods. You can read about the stories of the Anunnaki if you think I'm making this up. And they specifically talk about them intermixing. You can read about the stories of the Egyptians. They talk about intermixing. The gods always married their sisters and brothers and stuff like that. This is because they were into preserving the genes, keeping the genes perfect and pure, which made a perfect breeder, which made a perfect vehicle and a perfect channel and a perfect shaman and basically one who was open and receptive to the ideas and influences of the guys. This is why they did it. This is why they did it. This is why they do it. They still do it. It's based on having a connection with whatever beings that you are working with. This is why one would uh, mix their bloodline in. Um, what are my views on it? Am I for it or against it? I just simply relay the information. It's illegal to do those type of things here. I wouldn't suggest anyone mixing with their sister here in the United States of America. Um, but, you know, to ancients, other tribes that do that, you know, in other countries, you know, they're doing it for a cultural reason. They, have, they don't think about things the way Americans think about it. You see, we've become in, individualistic, totally individualistic. We're not about preserving genes. We don't care about stuff like that anymore. You see, we don't care about stuff like that. Um, when someone talks about preserving genes and marrying within their bloodline, they're called a racist just because they want to marry someone that looks like them. They're racist. You see, this is what we deal with because we're politically enslaved here in America. We're politically ignorant. So we know nothing about science and culture. Everything is based on emotions and social and how someone feels based on socialism, you see, and based on the, the uh, society. This is what the uh, culture of America is based on, what society thinks. So you can't do certain things here because you'll be ostracized and you won't be allowed in society and people will stereotype you and stuff like that. So you can't do if you want to live like that and do stuff like that, you got to leave the country. For those people that are into that type of um, interested in, you know, really preserving the genes and doing stuff like that. I just want to really point that out or whatever, because um needs to be said, definitely needs to be said. Um, a lot of people are confused um, <clears throat> when it comes to just really understanding the ancients and their methods and how they did things or whatever. So. That's basically why I want to go ahead and do this video and put this out to the public. So that's basically it for me. Uh, yeah, the um, the elites are intermixing because they want they're interested in reincarnating back through the same bloodline and coming back so that they can continue their evil uh, doings and their evil workings. And the ancients used to carry on the same practice because they were they were uh, interested in ruling uh, in the now. They were interested in maintaining rulership in the physical realm. This is why people marry within bloodlines and this is why this practice is uh still partaking in so i hope that helped uh for more enlightening information visit my website 13signsastrology.com